Jay and welcome to Vlogmas day 11. I haven't really been doing much this morning, it's around 10 a.m. But I've just been reading Crank by Ellen Hopkins. I'm basically done, so I'm just gonna finish that. And I'm waiting for Dan because we're gonna go look at shoes or something for him. I'm probably just gonna read this, wait, and I will catch up with you guys later. Hello, loyal Vlogma viewers. Vlogma? Jay's Vlogmas. <laughs> Vlogmas? Vlogmas. It's like Christmas, but it's for vlogs. Yeah. My name is Dan. You've seen me in a few videos this month. Jay's laughing at me. And uh, let us get started. I'm still waiting for those pictures of spiders. Haven't got anything yet. We're currently chilling in my basement eating Swiss chalet. Is there Swiss chalet in America? Uh, I think it's a Canadian company. By the way, that whole comment about not knowing where McDonald's is from, that was really stupid. Hey, you're so nice to me. Do you see what I'm laughing at? He's so rude. He's like this all the time. No, I'm not, but like, yes, you are. how do you not know where McDonald's is from? Because I don't care. I just eat it. She's definitely the type of person that eats chicken nuggets. What did you get, Jay? Chicken nuggets. Exactly. Next Friday, I'm going to see Star Wars on opening night. Jay knows nothing about Star Wars. She probably doesn't know the bad guy's name. That's one of the bad guys. Technically, he's a good guy who turned bad. Darth Maul's bad. What are they called? What are they? It starts with an S. There's something Lord. Sith Lords. Yeah, just three letters off. Out of four. Yeah, but I gave you that. Hey folks, you're currently watching JN eat. You're not supposed to film me. You're supposed to film. I have food in my hair. You're supposed to film yourself. Update on your life. Well, I want to update on your life. No, they're crazy about you. They like you better than me. Nobody likes me better than you. I told you I'm the dick and you're the nice person. Welcome to my basement, folks. There's a Christmas tree over there with lots of presents. For Jay. Yeah, Jay's got a few presents under there. And a box of chocolate. You don't have a box of chocolates. I have a full box of flakies. No, I have a full box of flakies. I'm not giving the whole box to you, but you can have some, absolutely. No, you're giving them all to me. I think you should turn the fireplace on. Oh my god, super romantic in It's me and you, it's not really that romantic. <laughs> Those fries good? They're cold. Why are they cold? Want me to return them? I can go back. No. You sure? So what are you up to today, Jay? Stupid football. And you. Why are we watching so much football today? Playoffs. playoffs, not in the NFL. It's playoffs in... No, CFL ended a month and a half ago. University? No. It's playoffs in what league? My... Yeah, it's fantasy football playoffs. So and my team is in week one. So <laughs> Take a look at our Christmas tree. All right. I'll take you guys with me. All right, I'll show them all Jay's presents. So here's our tree with the lights on. Very nice. That's for the burp freak out there. If we look closely, we can see Jay's present. Everybody's got some presents under the tree. Anyway, that one's Jay's right there. It's not marked. This one is to Daniel. From Daniel. I don't know what it is. What? Did I get myself shoes? I did get myself boots. No, they're not. Shoes are not made for winter, and boots are. Let's, yeah, so do flip flops and socks. I wouldn't call those shoes. I don't know, he's perfect. Rock, paper, scissors for it. Rock, paper, scissors. Ah, you can't snake bite me! Anyways, talk to you later. Hey guys, so it's now around 10 o'clock. I got home around 6. And I've just been studying basically all night. So, not that exciting. I didn't film anything after I got home. It's currently snowing outside, like, a lot. And I have to go back to Toronto tomorrow morning, so I'm hoping that it stops so the road isn't, like, super bad and I can make it to my exam. I write tomorrow at 2, it's advanced sports psychology, it should be pretty easy. But I'll let you guys know how it goes when I finish. I finished Crank by Ellen Hopkins this morning before Dan picked me up. I didn't update because... Like literally as soon as I read the last word he rang the doorbell, so like, convenient. But I ended up giving it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. I enjoyed it. It was super fast paced and it flew by like I read it in a day. Definitely wasn't my favorite Ellen Hopkins books. I still think Identical or Burned is my favorite. It was pretty repetitive which you know like it got to the point where I was just like okay we've read this 20 times already. So yeah 3.5 out of 5 stars. You can hear my full thoughts of it like in my final wrap up at the end of the month. I'm kind of bummed out tonight so I don't really have anything else to say so I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Goodbye!